Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2017 Nissan Navara. It's a 2.3 DCI 190 Tecna Auto. It's done just 20,000 miles and it's got full service history with two service stamps in the book. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular. Mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here today with me in person. As we go around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dints. We'll look at the wheels and tyres, looking at the tread depths. We'll have a look in the back, looking at the roll and lock. Then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats and the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. When we've done that, we're going to pop the bonnet, have a look at the engine and uh, basically around the engine bay. And then finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and of course the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you'd like to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you are looking to finance a vehicle, we can go through an application with you, which takes about five minutes. And in most cases, we can usually get you a decision within around an hour. It's worth noting it is a VAT vehicle, so it's a plus VAT vehicle. So you will need a deposit in most cases to cover the VAT. In some instances, you might be able to get around it Give us a shout, we can have a look at that for you, but that's obviously dependent on you and your personal circumstances. It's worth mentioning that when you've watched the video, if you think I've missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a little bit more detail, please just ask. There's nothing for us to hide. Um, we work on transparency. I'd rather make sure that you're completely happy before you've even left your home, that when you get here, you're 100% happy with the vehicle. Right, so let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. Okay, so it's in nice clean condition, as hopefully you can see. Uh, the panel itself is in very clean condition. I can't see any marks or dints. Uh, and it is in really nice clean condition. Now, it's been on UK roads, all right, fair enough. It's only done 20,000 miles, but obviously it's been on a road for five years. It's going to have stone chips. There's no two ways about it. Um, anyway, I don't know about you, but in my personal circumstance, when I'm looking at buying a vehicle, um, when I see that there's, <laughs> there's no stone chips, I'm thinking... Mm, all right, so let's have a, go a really close look here. Um, so there are a couple, but there's not many at all. Obviously, it's done very low miles. There's a couple there. And there's a very small one there. Now, I have just noticed that there is actually a very small dent just on the bonnet there. I don't know if you can see it. It's not bad. But it is there. It's just a tiny one. It's about a pinhead sort of size. So, driver's side headlights, nice and clear. As you can see, it's got the daylight running lights. They're obviously not on at the moment, but they have got them. Um, nice and clean, no damage, no stone chips. Everything looks spot on. Front bumper, again, there's a couple of stone chips, but nothing serious at all. There's so, no serious damage. And it's in really very nice, clean condition. And that's the same for the front grille as well. Passenger side headlights, exactly the same. Passenger side front wing is in nice clean condition as you can see. Um, there's no nasty marks or dints. Again, there's a couple of stone chips, but nothing serious. So I think that's probably the worst one there. That's it. That's one there as well. So passenger side front wheel and tyre. Wheels in good condition. It's a continental tyre. Um, I'd say there's about six millimetres of tread. And under the arch is very nice and clean and there's no damage windscreen is free from stone chips or cracks passenger mirror back is nice and clean there's no damage and the mirror is intact over the pillars a couple of tiny stone chips not really noticeable but they are there pillars are really very nice and clean i can't see any damage or dents and the passenger side of the roof is also the same very nice and clean no damage leading edge as you can see there's no stone chips or anything like that everything's all good right so before i go down let me move my camera a little bit before i go down the passenger side i would like to look at this view whether i'm doing a video buying one myself reason being is you can tell straight away there's no mismatch of paint and also you can see that there's no misalignment of gaps and there's no nasty damage to look at <coughs> so down passenger side 
side steps are in nice clean condition there is a little bit of wear on the step that's due to weather rather than someone using it unfortunately it's just a part and parcel um, the actual panels are in lovely condition I can't see any marks or dints and everything's very nice and clean rear quarter of the tub whatever you want to call it it has got the PPF protection on the rear bit there that's obviously where the stones hit it's done its job and the panels in nice clean condition it's in superb condition actually Passenger side rear wheel and tyre, wheels in good condition, it's a matching tyre. Um, slightly less tread, maybe 5 mil, 4 or 5 mil. Chassis is in good condition as you can see, as is under the arch. Oops. Sorry about that. Let's add a second, there we go. So, passenger side tail lights, nice and clean, there's no damage, no misting, no cracks, everything's really very nice and clean. Rear bumper, as you'll see, has got parking sensors. And obviously it's got the 360 degree reversing channel, which I will show you working when we get in the cab. Tailgate is in nice clean condition. However, there is a very small dent just there. You can just see it. <coughs> if you look at the reflection of our sign, you can just see it on there. It's not bad, but it is there. I bet a good dent managed to get that out. If you were really bothered. The rest of the tailgate's in nice clean condition, everything looks good. Worth noting, it's not got a tow bar. So with the 20,000 miles that it's done, it's not been towing anything. Worth remembering that this vehicle will tow three and a half tonne. It will do 40 miles per gallon as well. Maybe not together, but <laughs> that's that I suppose. And the rear bumper on top is again nice and clean. So it's got a mountain top roll and lock. Arguably the best you can get. Certainly one of the most safest and certainly one of the most expensive as well when it was new. Um, as you can see, it's in nice clean condition and it all looks good. To open them, you can use a key on top, but I prefer to use this because then you don't have to worry about the key. You pull it over to the right and it opens up. It's a little bit stiff, so I guess it's probably not been used a great deal, to be fair. Um, they're not 100% waterproof, but they do get asked this a lot about 95 percent waterproof i'd say um so if it's raining there's going to be water in the tub so if you're reliant on something's getting dry you need a canopy like on that one there give us a shout if you need to discuss that and we can look at that for you but yeah it's um nice and good action on it but it's a little bit stiff it's obviously not being used a great deal uh, potentially it's been used as a car rather than a pickup truck do see that quite a lot Right, so driver's side, tail light is again in nice clean condition. There's no damage, no misting, no cracks. Everything looks nice and clean. So you'll notice on this one, there is two fuel caps as it appears. One's had blue, one's fuel, this side's had blue. So it's ULES or ultra low emission zone compliant. So it is a Euro 6 vehicle, so that's probably why you're looking at it anyway. But obviously, I'll just teach you to suck eggs while I'm here. Uh, round the window. Again, it's really nice and clean. That was a mark, that's a bit of, someone's been rubbing it. And it is nice and clean around the window and there's no damage. Panels in great condition. Driver side rear wheel and tyre, it's a matching tyre. Wheels in good condition, there's no damage. And matching tread depth to the opposite side, about four or five mil. Under the arch is nice and clean, everything looks good. Driver side of the roof is nice and clean there's no damage pillars a bit of burp yeah a bit of burp here just rubbed me hand pillars in good condition no damage i can't see any stone chips or anything it all looks nice and clean so same as the other side let's have a quick look and again you can see there's no mismatch of paint uh, there's no misalignment gaps at all that's spot on so down the driver's side panels Uh, I can't see any marks or dents. Everything looks nice and clean. Side steps are in good condition as well. Again, it's got that little bit of, um, I think it's, you know, when salt gets onto them, it just pulls it, pulls the paint off a little bit. But nice and clean, no damage at all. Mirror back's nice and clean. There's no damage, mirror's intact. And then driver's side front wing. And again, it's in really very nice clean condition. I can't see any marks or dents. 
Uh, it's a tiny stone chip, but nothing serious. Driver's side front wheel and tyre, matching Continental tyre, so it's a full set of Continentals all round. Always nice to see, you know it's been taken care of. Wheels in good condition. There's a little bit of kerbing on that, I think. Is it kerbing or is that? Oh, I think it's been blacked on tyre, so ignore that. Get out of my hand. Uh, matching tread depth to the opposite side, so front and rear axles, both of them the same amount of tread, that's good. Under the arches, nice and clean. So, keyless entry, keyless go. So, as long as you've got your key in your pocket, you can press that button there and that will open and lock it. Driver's side door cards in nice, clean condition. It's free from any damage. Everything looks nice and clean. On the driver's armrest, you've got your electric windows, electric folding mirrors, and also your mirror control. Driver's seat. No surprises at 20,000 miles. Bolsters are really very nice and firm. Material, as you can see, is really nice and clean. Seats are in great condition. It's a fully electric seat. And it works without fault. All the original operations work as they did when they were new. That's all spot on. So it's got the Navara rubber over mat. All the carpets are clean as well. There's no damage under there. We jump in. Uh, keys. Two keys or two key fobs, whatever you want to call them. And there's two mounting lock keys as well. Right, so start it up. Start it up is a matter of putting your foot on the brake, pressing the stop start button, and it fires into action straight away. No problems at all. So, dashboard. Tell you what, let me just turn this down a little bit, sorry. Uh, dashboard is nice and clean, it's free from any damage, any marks. Everything looks really very nice and clean. Um, everything's all good. Being really critical, someone's obviously driven with a hand on there and it's just worn a little bit. A um, bit of boot polish that'll go back in, no problem at all. Heated seats in the rear, in the front, sorry, let me try those. Um, steering wheel is nice and clean it's free from any unusual wear all the stitches intact there's nothing out of place at all everything looks really very nice and clean there's a funny little mark just on top of it but i don't know what that is this one scratched it with a nail that might probably come out um steering wheel controls so uh, let's have a look at the dashboard hang on one second so obviously um you can see that the fuel level is low other than that there's no other warning lights on the dashboard other than the fact that obviously the handbrake's on and i'm not wearing my seat belt so if i click on that and we go through we can see no warnings there you go so actually the mileage is shown is twenty one thousand and ninety three. so i think that when we bought it it was on we I mean, know twenty thousand nine hundred and something so obviously that's why we've listed it at twenty thousand um steering wheel controls Cruise control to the right, voice command. You can link your phone to that one. So if you've got like Siri or whatever, you can make it work through that. I don't know how the other one's called. Um, and then obviously you can answer your phone and hang up from there. Left-hand side is basically your screen in the middle and also your media center as well. So you can skip, do your volume. So we'll listen to that. that rubbish anyway so you, you what you can hear from that there's no distortion on the speakers it's nice and clear um heated seats work switch them off because it's a bit too hot for that today um air conditioning works and it's cold so it's nice especially today it's quite warm turn it down a little bit uh, media center Reversing camera first, so you get to your right hand side is your reverse image, and then to the left is your 360. Um, I don't know about you, but I probably wouldn't use the 360 camera. But for my personal choice, if you click on camera, it will give you the left hand view. So if you're in your own, it doesn't mean that you don't have to damage your wheels on the curb. I quite like that, I've got to be honest. And also, if you, you're not going to knock your kid over when you're reversing or anything like that. What I also quite like is once you've clicked the camera, but if you go into drive, it will then give you your forward view. And I do like that as well, because obviously you want to park against a wall. Um, you can't 100% tell how far away you are. And parking sensors don't always rely on them all the time, obviously. Uh, media center, obviously nav, which is nice clear screen, does work pretty well. Um, they're not 
100 percent accurate you know like in on your mobile phone they are quick though as you can see as i'm doing it now it's getting quicker and quicker as you're using it if you go into info you've got applications on there you've got facebook google you can add ways amongst other things as well once you've plugged your phone in uh, and obviously you've got all the normal extras that you would get on a, on another media system so you know bluetooth and whatever else radio you've got um sorry click on am fm and obviously dab and obviously cd player as well and you've got a pre-populated list for your dab uh, they, they work pretty faultlessly to be honest with you um seven speed automatic gearbox nissan say it'll do 41 to a gallon i've heard of people doing that and more and less it's going to depend on you and how you drive it at the end of the day uh, as i said before you know it will tow three and a half tons they do it really well as well which is always nice to know roof lining's nice and clean it's free from any damage and it smells nice inside as well i want to say it smells nice it doesn't smell of anything um, so it doesn't smell like smoke or cigarettes. It doesn't smell like dirty dog or anything like that, which is obviously something you don't want. Um, anything else? Oh, yeah. Electric windows obviously all work perfectly. Tinted windows in the rear. Um, electric folding mirrors. And as you can see, all they work perfectly as well. Down by your right knee parking sensor stability control your fuel caps there uh, illumination for your clocks and also your trip resets um, down by the center console switchable four-wheel drive hill descent oh hang on You're telling me off because the door's open um, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from there and that works perfectly usb is down here and auxiliary uh, what else can't think of anything else really uh you've got your armrest it's in nice clean condition there's a 12 volt socket in there 12 volt socket above as well um, obviously full service history all the books are here all the service books are there obviously there's pictures of them on the internet if you want to have a look um, locking wheel nuts in there as well passenger seat feels like brand new if I'm honest material feels really clean bolsters feel like brand new you do see this a lot some company directors have probably bought it used it as a car which makes sense because there's no tow bar and whatever else um, and then just gone up and down the motorway and it used it 20,000, kept it for a few years and sold it. And probably got a brand new one. But yeah, all nice and clean inside, smells nice, looks nice, everything works as you'd want it to. Only negative is probably that. That's nothing at all. There's a couple of little tiny marks on that bit there. Look. But yeah, nice, nice and clean, nice to see. Let's switch it off. Uh, while I'm here, pop the bonnet, which is just here. in the back door card in the rear driver's side nice and clean no damage everything looks nice and clean again seats in the back they just don't look like they've been used to me bolsters feel like brand new all the over mats are clean all the carpets are clean you can lift these up and you can use your tether to stick it back so it doesn't get any obviously you can get up there so if you want a space to use it like this instead of using it as a car that's all good all your tools and everything around there as well yeah nice clean it's worth mentioning that we do specialize in pickup trucks there's not many people that specialize in pickup trucks in the uk um, we do have a lot on site always new ones arriving all the time um, lots and lots of choice and if you compare against the rest of the market hence just compare cars i hope you'll find that wires are the, probably the best prices in the uk as well um, if you're not sure if this is not for you if you're looking for something else give us a shout i'm sure we can find you something right so Passenger side door card, again, it's in really nice clean condition. There's no damage. Again, confirming, obviously, the passenger seat doesn't look like it's ever been sat into me. Carpets are clean, it's got the overmats. Everything looks good. Passenger rear, and again, nice and clean. Mm. Only thing I've noticed, there's a tiny little mark on that. So maybe this one's put some boxes in the back. I notice on that side, there is a little tiny mark on that one as well, though. It is mine here, I didn't notice that. But yeah, all good. And it's nice and clean, there's no damage, no unusual wear. Let's look under the bonnet. Under the bonnet, obviously it's got full service, it's done very little miles, it's really very clean under here. 
turbo unit is just there you can see there's no signs of any oily residue around the turbo unit also worth noting there's no signs of any historic oil leaks around the engine bay or block everything's superb um, it's obviously recently had a new battery it must have just come out of the warranty because warranty would have covered a new battery for that uh, fluid to clean into the correct levels all round belts are in good condition he says can you see it yeah you can just see it there you go look belts are in great condition actually to be fair and everything looks really very nice and clean let's have a quick look underneath <clears throat> So underneath it's nice and clean, as you can see. And that drip in there is your air condenser from the air conditioning, so that's been on. Um, chassis is in nice clean condition, exhaust in great condition as well. Everything looks nice and clean and dry. Rear diff is nice and clean and dry. There's no residue around it. And again, same at the rear. It's a steel wheel, but it's got a brand new Continental tire on it. So it is a proper full set of Continentals all around. So that's great news. Always nice to see. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. Maybe a little bit more, but I'd rather show you too much than not enough at the end of the day. Um, it's worth mentioning that if you look on our Facebook page, you'll find pictures of this truck you won't find anywhere else. Give us a like if you can, I'd appreciate it. For the moment, thanks for watching and sticking with me. Really appreciate it. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.